So we know the issues. We know about energy. We know about the border. We know Joe Biden doesn't know what he's doing. We know all that. We get all that. But why do this? Why do this here tonight with Legacy Pack? Because there's a whole lot of people who have the passion to save this country who need help getting off the ground. The purpose of Legacy Pack is to save America. That's our mission. That's what we really want to do because America is worth saving. Uh, I am by trade, I'm a cybersecurity engineer. Okay, so this is my first run in, in politics. We need more conservative Republicans standing up and fighting for the Constitution. We're an America First Pack and we want to promote and help our uh, up and coming uh, candidates, and uh, we're going to be holding the line for President Trump. I joined the Army at 17 years old. My first day at my first unit, which was 25th Infantry, was September 10th, 2001. So the next day was 9 11. And I spent about a, a total of a decade between Iraq and Afghanistan in country. So my country means everything to me. When I realized that if people like myself who don't want to be politicians don't start stepping up and taking these seats that nothing's going to change, then I said, okay, I'll do it. Who deserves to lead the people of this country more than those who serve this country? So I'm behind every one of them. So let's, uh, let's, let's make sure we get more veterans into, into power. I, I'm all for it. Remember why you're involved. We have to make sure people remain humble and not engage in self-glorification. You are here for one reason, and that is to save the country. Period. End of story. And for those candidates who are looking uphill and wondering how, keep your head down, focus on the target, and outwork everybody. And I promise you, you're not going to lose. You're either going to win on election night, or you change the game on election night. So God bless you guys. Thank you so much for coming back. Under this administration, they have deliberately opened the border to fundamentally change the fabric of our country. I'm Jared Craig with Legacy Pack. We are here at Eagle Pass, Texas to bring attention to the border crisis, to educate the voters, the citizens of the United States, and the candidates running for federal office the importance of a secure border. And at Legacy Pack, we want to bring candidates here to the border to see it firsthand because there is nothing like being here seeing this. We saw women and children climbing over barbed wire. There is no reason why we cannot secure this border. There is no reason to keep this open. This is not humane. So, so we need to get Victor and all these other good America First candidates into office. We at Legacy Pack depend on your donation and support to support these projects. And we can't do it without you. So please go on to LegacyPack.org and show your support. Stan is with Veterans for Trump. Thank you, Martha. Thank you all. We're honored. I know there are so many organizations represented here today. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you so much to Stan Fitzgerald. Where is he? There he is. Thank you so much. You are a great patriot. Thank you both. Thank you both for helping out. You're so supportive, not only for people like me, um, President Trump and for America First and MAGA. So God bless you. Thank you. But you're uh, you do very well. And I just had somebody write down. First of all, James and Sarah Pritchard. Thank you very much. Yes, great job. Thank you. We appreciate all the help. Stanley and Donna Fitzgerald. Right here, sir. Thank you very much. It's great. It's great that you were this. Mike Acton. Hi, this is Stan Fitzgerald, Veterans for Trump, and I'm here with our Texas State Chapter Director, Tom Slocum, and candidate John Perez in Texas. How are you, sir, today? I'm good. I'm good. Thanks for the opportunity. Well, we appreciate you coming on with our organization. John, um, you're going up against the establishment in Texas. Can you tell us a little bit about your background? Sure. Born here in Texas. Uh, my dad uh, joined the State Department uh, early 80s, uh, became a U.S. diplomat. We uh, moved overseas. I lived in Jordan, Guatemala, and Costa Rica is where I went to high school. 
came back here to uh, get my engineering degree at Rice University, uh, where I also got my MBA in uh, 2012. I've uh, been married for 22 years uh, to Colette Perez. We have two sets of twins. Um, I've started two engineering companies. Uh, we're in the 14th year of the second one. Uh, a lot of service time as a livestock captain uh, for the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo, a scoutmaster, a Rice Engineering Alumni President, and I'm currently a board trustee for the Spring Branch Independent School District. Very important because saving America starts in the schools. Uh, Tom, do you want to take over with some policy questions for Texas? Yeah, I just was going to check John. You know, uh, it seems like parents these days, especially since COVID, We've got a lot of problems with the schools and the woke policies and the woke agenda. You know, what did you do when you were school board trustee, when you were elected two years ago in the middle of all of that? How did uh, What all happened, if you could briefly tell us uh, what, what your major fight was? Sure. Uh, part, of, part of the reason why I ran, Tom, was to clean up our schools, uh, as simple as that. Right out, right out of the gate, uh, myself and two other trustees that were uh, brought on board, elected to our positions back in 2022, uh, President uh, President Chris Ernest was elected the year before, so there were there were four strong um, conservatives, and we went straight to looking at policy and protocols. And the first thing we did is we did classroom neutrality, and we basically said, "Hey, listen, we got to get all the BLM pride paraphernalia out of our schools. Uh, if you're going to allow that stuff in our classrooms, then I'm calling all my Christian friends, and we're going to turn our classrooms into, you know." Um, places where, you know, psalms and uh, rosaries are welcome as well, right? So uh, that was that was a, a quick way to kind of start helping them clean up. But we also wrote policies to get uh, porn out of our libraries, start cleaning up our curriculums. We also wrote the bathroom policy. So our house hasn't really tackled that, but we tackled it here. We wrote a bathroom policy to make sure that uh, my twin girls that are juniors in high school uh, get to go to the bathroom and locker rooms based on biological uh, assignment so girls go to the girls and boys go to the boys and we don't have to mess with all these gender fluidity issues common sense john it seems like a lot of just common sense common sense right i mean who, who would have thought we would have to worry about writing those policies just 20 years ago <laughs> we have the same problems in georgia um john tell us a little bit about your support of president trump so 100 uh i've backed president trump since the beginning uh, even when some folks may have been taking their signs out of the yards, I went and planted another sign in my yard. Uh, I'm a hundred percent America first. Uh, let's make America great again. Um, I'm behind him a hundred percent. I mean, I, I can't wait till he is reelected and we start uh, cleaning up the damage Biden has done. Well, amen to that. And John, where can people from across the country find your website? So Perez for Texas.com. That's Perez, P-E-R-E-Z, the number four, Texas.com. John, you come highly recommended from our Texas State Chapter, and uh, we kicked it up to our national board for a vote, and you have our national endorsement uh, from our veterans organization. So we want to help you win and see you win. Excellent. Let's get the establishment out of here and let's get grassroots in. Yes, sir. Take care, guys. We'll talk again soon. Thank you. Take care. You're welcome.